my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Stranger by Olivia Rodrigo on my Journey Instruments collapsible OF422 guitar. So if you're interested in this model, I will link more information about it down below. Um, here's a quick overview of everything I'll be covering in this video today. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so you only need to know five different chords to play through this song. And we're going to start with our C major, which looks like this and sounds like this. By the way, if you don't know how to read these chord charts you're seeing on screen, I do cover how to do that in my free beginner course right here on YouTube, so make sure to check that out. The next chord is our A minor. After that we have our F over C. Then we have our G add 4. And then last is our G7, where you just move your pointer finger down a string. And by the way, this G7 is kind of optional, so if this is a hard position for you to get to, you can just replace the G7 with your G add 4 throughout the song. And then another piece of advice is for the first three chords, C, A minor, and F over C, I would recommend taking your thumb and kind of wrapping it over the neck of your guitar and lightly touching that low E string just to mute it. That way you can strum the rest of the chords without sounding out that low E. Okay, but those are the only five chords you need to know to play the song. So go ahead and pause the video and take as much time as you need to really memorize those chord shapes as well as practice transitioning back and forth between the chords because it will make learning the rest of the song so much easier. And if this is a skill you're currently struggling with, I do have an entire practice with me playlist right here on YouTube, so I will make sure to link that in the corner here. Um, but once you have those chords ready to go, we can go ahead and talk about the strumming that you can use for this song. All right guys, so like I always say, if you are a beginner at guitar or you struggle to sing while playing, the first thing I would suggest doing is to bring up the song and go ahead and play through it with a single down strum on every chord change as you sing through the song and take this time to really get used to what word you're singing and things like that whenever those chords are changing. So here's a quick example of what that would look like. Cause I was half myself without you, now I feel so complete. Alright, so you would basically want to do that for the entire song and just take a mental note of what word you're singing whenever those chords are changing. And this is actually something you can do right now if you check out my Patreon page. I do have this entire guide available to download and print out, so I'll make sure to leave that link in the description box. But once you get that down, we can talk about more of the full strumming pattern that you can use for this song. Alright guys, so for this first strumming pattern, this will be the main pattern that you can use throughout most of the song. It's a simple eighth note count, but we do have to play it pretty quickly in order to be at tempo. So it's going to count like this. We have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. All right. So it's pretty quick. And for most of the verses, you're going to repeat this pattern four times per chord. And then for most of the chorus, you're going to repeat this pattern twice per chord. Although there are a few places where that's not true, but I will explain that in a second. So if we go ahead and look at the first verse, we're starting on our C chord. You would want to play this pattern four times for the C chord. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, three, four. Then you go to your A minor, four times, twice, three times, four times. Then we have F over C, one, two, three, four. And then here, we're going to go from our G add 4 to our G7. So each of these G chords is going to only get twice for this pattern. So G add 4 is down, down, up, down, up twice. Then you go to your G7, down, down, up, down, up twice. All right? And that's basically one round of how you can play through the verse. I woke up this morning and I sat up straight in bed. Basically, you would repeat that for all of the verses and they would sound the same. Now, the one place that's going to be a little bit different is the chorus, so let's go ahead and bring that up. For here, we're going from our C chord and we're going to play the pattern twice. One, two, 
then we're going to go to our F over C and play it just once. Back to C. All right? Because I was half myself without you. Now I feel so comfortable. Can't even remember what made me lose all that sleep. All right? So that's how the chorus goes. Um, towards the end when she sings the main line, you're just a stranger I know. So here's going to be a little bit different. The C and the G add 4 is going to get one time through, and then the F over C is going to be repeated twice. And then the second time through is the same. We have C and G add 4 one time through, and then a C is going to be repeated twice. So you're just a stranger, I know everything about who basically how you would play through the entire song with this strumming pattern. The other strumming pattern that I want to show you is only applicable if you want to do kind of a walk down, which you can hear in the song. So let's go ahead and talk about strumming pattern two. Hey, really quick. In addition to the printable guide we've been looking at, did you know I also offer customizable backing tracks, polls for what songs you want to learn next, and even video chats if you're having trouble? You can unlock all these perks and more if you become a patron, which helps me grow my channel and make more videos just like this one. Or if Patreon's not your thing, you can still help me out a lot by giving me a thumbs up and leaving a comment below to help me reach more people in YouTube's recommendations. It only takes a second, but makes a huge difference. So thanks so much, and let's get back into it. All right guys, so for the second strumming pattern, it's gonna look really similar to the first one, and we're still in a simple eighth note pattern. We're gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, all right? Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a little vertical line here in the middle, and basically this means we're going to change chords in the middle of this pattern. And like I said earlier, we're only gonna use this pattern when we do the walk down during the verses. So here in verse two, we're starting with our first pattern on C, down, down, up, down, up twice. And then here on the fourth time, we're going to do this walk down to the G add four. So that's where we're using strumming pattern two. C gets down, down, up, and then G add four gets down, down, up. And then you get into your A minor, and same thing back to strumming pattern one. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up three times. And then here on the fourth time, we go A minor, down, up, to G add four, down, down, up, to F over C. So let's go ahead and put that in context with the singing. So basically, if you want to include the walk down during the verses, that's how you would use strumming pattern two to accomplish that. Otherwise, you could totally just ignore the G add four walk downs and just keep strumming pattern one for the entire song. All right, guys, so again, go ahead and pause the video and take as much time as you need to really get that strumming pattern under your belt. Although the strumming is pretty simple, I think playing it fast enough to match the original tempo of the song is the more difficult part. So definitely take your time and get it up to speed. Um, but once you have the strumming patterns down, then we can go ahead and put together everything we've learned to play through the song. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, go. Fun jamming out to the rest of the song with me? Yeah, yeah. Then make sure to check out my Patreon page where you can unlock access to this as well as all my other fast track and play along guitar tutorials. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box down below. If you enjoyed learning this song with me, then you should definitely check out this video. Not only does it have a super similar vibe, but it's just as fun to play, so I'll see you over there. Bye!